Hello and welcome to MGP 428. I'm Kev and with me as ever, there's Sheepdog and a Pab and Craig, apparently, who is our new co-host. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. 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 Craig? Craig, are you there? Hello. Craig. Thank you, Craig. Pab's brought a friend along called Craig, who only says one thing right at the start of the podcast. And then he's silent. It's really weird. He just... We, we all started recording and Pab's friend Craig just went, start recording. Or some... St- <laughs> I am what recording. you got to say, Craig? Yeah. What a weirdo Craig is. Why have you brought your mate along, Pab? Is this bring a bring a robotic friend to work day? Um, what it... Uh, he's a failsafe, okay? He's a failsafe. He's, he's a good lad. He, he records everyone's files. Just in case. Mm. Just in case... Sheepdog decides to. Did he make Sheepdog turn up this week? Because if so, he's already pulling his weight. <laughs> well, he's there just in case I balls up. Because obviously, this is all set up on my new computer. You've taught me that I'm supposed to be sitting an inch from the microphone, and Pab's told me that it's supposed to be hitting a certain number on Audacity. And it's a brave new world for me. I'm watching that yeah. number bob around. Ten years we've been podcasting, and Sheepdog's learning about microphone technique. It's quite alarming, um, and also. We promise the slight echo that's still on Sheepdog's voice won't be there next week. He is recording in a in a cave with nothing in it at the moment. <laughs> but he has assured us it'll be full it of will. stuff next week. I promise. Um, I mean, hopefully it's not too bad. I mean, Kev says it is. And yeah, I, I, I do feel it. I can hear it. Um, I'm basically in my garage, which has been converted into a room. Um, I've got cushions all over the windows. I've got a sheet covering like an eighth of the wall just because we thought it might help um a bookshelf behind me with a blanket hanging off it i went and got all of ollie's plushies from upstairs and dropped around the room and it has <laughs> if you're in the room it feels like you're having a normal room conversation but you're just surrounded by a load of mess uh but if you yeah if you see it like there's no curtains so people are walking by and they're looking through the window i was chatting to pab earlier i looked up there were two girls on my driveway, two teenage girls, just watching me chat to Pab. When I looked up, they just gave me a wave. One... Why were they on your driveway? Well, my driveway, you've seen my driveway, it goes onto a sort of path. And I guess they were walking to the field nearby or across the field nearby, and they just saw a man with headphones on talking into a microphone. I've got love in my arm thing now on my desk. Um, that's another reason why I'm able to talk into this a bit better. When it was on the table in front of me, I was just kind of talking at it from a comfortable position, whereas here I can actually lean into it. But I was chatting to him and I just had a corner of my eye. I thought, what's that person doing between next to my car? And then their friend just waved furiously at me, like to try and get my attention. And then they just both ran off when they realized that kind of they'd succeeded. You need to get some of this special window frosting stuff that Anna's put on my office window. Cause my office is at, is at the front of the house. And because of the stupid way new build house estates are, we've got just like a yard of grass, a fence and a, like a small fence. And then it's the pavement. The driveways around the back because new houses are done. Um, so anyone walking past, if we if I didn't have the frosted glass on the bottom half of the window, would be able to see everything I'm doing. I literally sat right next to it, but it's at just the right height where if they're walking past and glance in when the blinds are open, they can see my YouTube plaque scare, staring back at them. And at school kicking out time every day, you hear them out there trying to play guess the YouTube, but they still don't know who's in here. They're going to be so disappointed when they find out. <laughs> they, do. They, they do hang around out there trying to do guess the YouTuber. I mean, could they not just knock on your door or have a look actually through the window further? Or I don't want people knocking on my door. You've had it before, though, If I'm honest. You? Yeah, and it was awful. <laughs> You're like, uh, uh, hi, like, what do you want? Yeah, get no, I don't like weirdo. That. I had to report that kid to his school when he knocked on our door. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Good on I'm you. that much of a monster. It's making me nervous though because I keep seeing movement. Well, my own reflection keeps making me think that people are out there because I keep moving my arm or whatever. And I think, I mean, if if I if I looked into a reflective surface and saw you looking back, I'd be scared too. So I I get that. So mean. (laughs) Oh dearie me! So sheepdog's been away for two weeks. It's been lovely. Do you have an excuse where you've been? Because we've had people sending you all sorts of. Uh, pictures and memes and various <laughs> things, trying to make you think about what you've done. You've served your suspension. I saw him. And, I have no uh, remorse. I, I'm not remorseful at all about what happened. I'd do it again. Mm. But no, um, you know, I, I got a phone call. Do you know what? I didn't realise I hadn't told you I was going on a holiday. I'm sure I did. Yeah, you are a monster. You didn't. I'm sure I did. No. Nope. Maybe not 
like and then, and then you told us the day before you were going early and we're like well we didn't know you were going at all so it doesn't really matter that you're going early i'm sure that like three weeks before i'd said something like just remember everyone i'm on holiday in a few weeks and it was just kind of like Meh. well that does that sentence doesn't tell us you're not doing the podcast that just tells us you're going on holiday we don't know how long you're going for we don't know if you're going to be away on a friday you didn't fill in a holiday slip just saying you're going on holiday that tells us nothing, Sheepdog. Well, what, We're not interested in your social life. One of the three of you could turn up on a stream or watch a vlog once in a while to help your old pal out, and you'd have bloody known about Make it on Make him there. interesting then, and then we would. <laughs> I talk about it on Do there. a different thumbnail rather than that purple and yellow one you do every day, and then we'll click on it. I don't really know how to do thumbnails, Kevin. That's why I use the purple and <laughs> orange one. Um, I, I watch your vlogs. I watch that they've done the paint too blue or something. Too... Not grey enough. So you knew he was going on holiday and didn't tell me and Pat. Well, I didn't know until he'd come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit random. Because um, yeah. I don't know why I didn't watch that one, but I watched one when you were in a rainforest of some sort. And then he went just to a rainforest? He did. He did, yeah. It was bloody wow. hot. Bloody hot. Um, and visited Africa and the Mediterranean and uh, Australia. Interesting. We're not even allowed to go to Belgium for a couple of days. And you're there flying around the world. How's this working? I don't understand. We went to the Eden Project. So they have like, uh, they just basically built the biome of those countries in a big pod. And you can just walk around them and feel hot and look at the plants and animals are running around and birds and bugs and stuff like that. Um, they're normally there. Like so Sorry. I do like animals. Yeah, normally they have like Should we go, Anna? Uh, entertainment on. They were just setting up like a big brass band when we were there, but they didn't. We were there. They're setting up. They've got all the instruments. They're all dressed up, but they weren't playing. They were just making sure it all worked for when they want to start playing. It was very... I was like, just... Did they have any emus there? No, I didn't see any emus. It wasn't a zoo. Oh. It's like a z- well, I, we weren't at a zoo. I went to a theme park and made friends with an emu last week. <laughs> so, you know, I yes. make friends with emus wherever I see them. Yeah, um, it wasn't. As, it was like a zoo for plants, and I guess the animals that well, the the it was more like birds Hello. and uh, birds and bees. And he said then it was birds and bees, um, just stuff to pollinate. Sheep dog went to a sex museum. <laughs> oh wow! Um, had some nice ice cream. I learned a valuable lesson about ordering ice cream. I asked for an ice cream, and she said, "I'm pretty much out of the ice cream you want. Would you like me to give you a different ice cream and then scrape what I can out of the uh, the tub of the ice cream you actually wanted for free? And I was like, well, I'm not one to pass up a free ice cream scrape. So she she basically gave me the uh, black currant ice cream I think I asked for. So I thought, that's an unusual flavour. And then uh, she scraped it all out and it's basically a, an extra scrape, and an extra serving and a half in there. She'd, under, she'd overestimated how much, underestimated how much was there, sorry. So I got a massive ice cream which just rounded things off nicely. Excellent. It's good. Did you, uh, whilst on your travels, did you hear me ha- going to war with internet service providers? Everyone's very lucky that, that, that I'm even that me and Anna are even here for the podcast this week. I did because the world is ridiculous. You are cursed. Like I saw. <laughs> I, I I watched your vlog. I mean, yeah, you did you did have good thumbnails on them. I you know, message received. Um but <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about your thumbnails on Reddit earlier, uh, randomly, because I said I don't really understand thumbnails because my friend has a picture of him, high def picture of whatever from the video, and then something like, It's all gone wrong and it just gets clicked because it's clickable. Whereas I'm like, We've had the worst day ever but I mean, it, part of that's just following, I know. But I'm like, I, I'm not happy with mine because I I try and put that purple background with the white writing so that it's clear and stands out, but I don't think it works. So you may have to do a masterclass with me on that. But um, no, I saw that you've had sky break, you've had your wire cut, you've had all sorts of nonsense. It's ridiculous. Yeah, for anyone who hasn't watched the video this week or watched me yelling at people on Twitter, uh, me and Anna were casually minding our own business on Tuesday and uh, all of a sudden the internet went off and I went outside and uh, well I didn't go immediately outside so it's not your first instinct when the internet goes off I checked the router and the router has the red light everything else is working but the little red light say the internet is off so I checked the modem that all looks good went outside 
and the the fiber cable that comes out of the ground and comes into the new hole in the side of our house it's been there less than a month our brand new fiber to the property cable is just hanging loose and there's little bits of shredded cable all over our freshly cut grass where the idiot of a gardener who is nothing to do with us it's one of these stupid situations where because it's quite a new estate the builders still send a gardener around to everyone's front garden so they can sell the last couple of houses and um, that's not the reason they do it kev it's because they're all leasehold houses and uh your or people your landlord is paying ground rent and they'll be paying that for the what? rest of time good whatever the reason is they cut through our stupid cable and uh legged it i i've speculated this week i've given them the benefit of the doubt and assuming that we're just the very last house that they cut on the entire estate. And that's why when I went out there within three minutes, the internet going off, they were absolutely nowhere to be seen, <laughs> even though I walked around the block. The van was gone and everything. I'm get, I, I think it's only fair to assume that we were scheduled to be their last stop and they didn't cut through it, realise what they'd done and leg it. But yeah, it uh, it was cut through and... Thankfully, due to the uh, due to the power of social media, we were able to get someone someone from Open Reach out with his supervisor within two hours, who knocked on the door, and the very first thing he said was, "So, how have you got two hundred thousand subscribers then? Because that's because that's why we're here. It's our social media team who sent us." I said, oh, "I don't care why you're here. Let's just let's just get this sorted, shall we?" Thank you very much. You should have said, "Well, <laughs> sir, I." needed to get to 100,000 so I cut my internet wire and made a big song and dance about it because that was my first thought he's able to do anything for subs that man yeah absolutely Anna's there, subs. Anna's there in the background hands on her hips thinking for goodness sakes Kevin yeah, well Anna's, Anna's as bad as me now she's fully in the game now she's a now she's a Twitch affiliate she's selling herself on the internet now just like I am so she's uh She's just as bad. I see she's on the grind now. The grind to partner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've already done affiliate. That was nothing. In no time. It's, it's very exciting, isn't it, Anna? <clears throat> well, some short technical difficulties later. I guess we could probably start talking about some video games. I forget what tangent we were on. But I do know we're about 15 minutes in. And Ratchet and Clank new version came out today, and both Anna and Pab have played it. So I think we probably throw over to them and, and you have own them it. tell us all about it. I, well, yeah, and Lelujo Enterprises owns it. I doubt I'll ever play it. You should do. It's fun. But now Anna is a, a super fancy Twitch affiliate. She's officially part of the business. <laughs> business expense games. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that is like one of the like. Perks, I guess. Especially I for a buy, seventy pound game. My word. Game. Well, I I said I'd go and like take some of my other games in to buy it because it is. But then that would be something you were buying for you this way. <sighs> the business has bought it because you're going to play through it all on Twitch as part of your job. It's you're, you're just a, as I've said to you many times over the years, you were just a plumber buying a spanner. I don't know what that means, but okay. It means you got to take the game and you got to fix a tap with it now. Yeah, exactly. Well, she did fix our toilet the other day as well, so yeah, she the, literally the, is a plumber. The, it's quite handy. You can call it a ratchet <laughs> as well. Sorry, Anna. Mine and Kevin's mm. dynamic is weird. He just flounce around while I do the, like, the actual fixing of stuff. Why is that weird? Are you being sexist? I am Isn't being that sexist. how... Your whole life is he flowers around. <laughs> Isn't that how the vlog works? I think, yeah, but, uh, works. Is, I think like, you're fine. Hold on. No, it's... wait. No, wait, Kevin. Uh, we've <laughs> lived it eight months. I have shelves that haven't been put up yet. Right. Do you know why? why? His dad ain't visited. If, if you want him up... <laughs> I'll pay for a handyman to come and put See them what up. I mean? But you have this he, weird he thing can you, no. that you want me to do it. Yes, I do. Like you, mm, you do that. Because I Why like. Why do you want me to do because it? Because I like seeing I'll pay you. Pay someone a, to do it properly. I like to see you with a power tool in your hand. I <laughs> find it attractive. Right, two things. <laughs> One, I'm not very good at it, so it will be done badly. And two, 
I my time is far more See? valuable. I it costs us money for me to put up a shelf because I can pay someone else to do it and earn more during the time he's doing it than it costs that I have to give him to but, do it. But exactly. the, to the toilet, you're like, oh, we'll just leave it. Let's not use that toilet. It's that like a private <laughs> toilet. We've got and you four just toilets. And you just wanted to. We don't have four toilets. We have access. We'll get a to plumber like when two. we're down to one. Why? I fix it. <laughs> no, well, that's fine. You can fix it, but I wasn't going to waste yeah, time fixing it. That morning, I could hear you fiddling with the top, trying to get the top off. You had no idea what you were doing. You I were don't just need to know. He was trying I to check someone, someone else to know. It. No, because the thing is, it's got one of them. Like you have to twist the the plunger off, and then the thing comes up. I could hear him trying to pick it up, and it's kept going. I was like, "What is he trying to do?" I go in there two minutes. It's fixed. It's like. Oh, you fixed it then. And then he goes and breaks it again. It is none of my concern how a toilet works. Someone else can do that. It's nothing to do with me. I, don't ever, I, I will uh, never need to know how a toilet works in my life. What I'm hearing here, Kev, it's not about the shelves. Anna just wants to see you with the tools in your hand. So if you don't want to put the shelf up, you, well, need, to, it, you need to get suited and booted to so say you're going to do it. Let Anna have what she needed from it. And then if pay she someone wants, else to do the job. If she wants to see me <laughs> waving tools around, we need to make a video about me waving tools around. Because that's actually worth doing. <laughs> me putting up shelves is a waste of time. She's going to enjoy it the same on camera, unless you're starting an OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> I keep punching my monitor, sorry. <laughs> There's a bit of banging, I just keep thumping we it. We don't care if you punch your monitor, sheet, though. We're not in there. Oh. I know that's where the sounds are coming from, but we're somewhere else entirely. Whatever, the listener might be away. hearing this random bang where I've just thumped my monitor twice. Let's put my hand what? somewhere. I don't know Why where to put it. Are you it. You're making me awkward talking about Kev just as a handyman <laughs> while you get your pleasurable times out of it. I, it is making me squirm. It's because in the past he's called me around to help him with stuff. <laughs> I remember yeah, when he didn't reason. own a drill and I had to go around his house with my drill. He's thinking, now, now Kev thinks, that's why I was asking him around. There's when you turn around <laughs> topless. Dog wanted to see me with a drill. Oh. He's in his underwear with the leather straps on his shoulders, his drill by his side. And I was like, Kev, like, we've got a desk This is how I use a drill. Oh, I'm pretty sure that are... weekend was why we started podcasting and gaming, isn't it? Maybe. Such a magical weekend, you with your drill. Oh, yeah. you two are stupid. Oh, the, so we birthed funny. MGP out of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, bottom line, Anna, if you want the shelves putting up, there's handymen who can come and do that. We can have some... Them shelves can be up tomorrow. Nah. Problem solved. Just I ain't doing it. Out, I've got better things to do. I ain't bloody doing it. Someone else um, can do it. Hire hey, someone Kevin. while she's out. Kevin. Just, what? just to let you know that it says the disc space remaining for recording is sixteen hours. Why is that? That's, no, okay. I mean, that's how much space <laughs> you've got, I guess. Irrelevant. Oh, yeah. um, I've just never seen it before. That's broken me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, what? we have, we have ratchet. What just and... happened? <laughs> just wanted to know why. Is... I've never seen that before. It's just saying disk space remaining for the recording is my, 16 hey, Anna, hours. Anna, Anna yeah? I've got a question for you then. Yeah? Um, my my audacity is saying disk space remaining for recording, 202 hours and 37 minutes. Why is that? I don't hey, know. I'll get you both. Mine says 762 <laughs> hours and nine minutes. So, so I'm less I than a day of recording. I guess it's telling you how much space you've got. That's not a lot. I need to find out why, because we've wiped this the other day. But yes. Don't worry, that, that computer's going in the bin in a week. So no, don't worry about we don't it. go in the bin. But... Where do you think it's going? In a different place for the children to use. Put it in the bin. Mm. We'll, we'll be finished with it. So Ratchet and Clank it came out this week, this day, to the, it today. Did. Friday came out. Uh, Is it I got worth it. the 70 quid Kev mentioned, the Ratchet and Clank game? I don't know, because I don't understand ray tracing and all that. I played the other one on... A Wednesday after I, well, I was going to play Tuesday but I played it Wednesday instead and I played the one that's on the PS4 slash PS5 and then I played this one and I don't see a difference now maybe I'm just not looking closely maybe because I'm on a monitor but it, it looks the same 
I mean, remember, it's not 70 quid because it's got ray tracing. It's 70 quid because it's a PS5 game, and that's how much PS5 games yeah, are. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but I've, I've played two hours of it. Seems fine. Um, I, I'm the the So basically, you open cracks of, in dimensions, and you you can get into them, but the way I can see is they come to you you don't go to them it's very it's mind-boggling because you so it opens up like these little cracks you use your i don't know your dimension one stick thing and then you're in a different part of that world but maybe you're in a different world it's very very like i don't know where i am and it's it blows my mind but apparently the bolts have ray tracing something to do with lights I'm guessing that's what people have told me. So it's got a fancy lighting on the bolts. Mm-hmm. Though the bolts mm-hmm. come at you at like 10,000 miles per hour. So unless you are going into photo mode and zooming right into a bolt, I don't think it's going to do much for you, especially with how much is going on in the, like the world as it is. Like you, you go into like your first big new world um, where everything is like changed. And there's just robots going around, just like just doing their own thing and just being there, and it's it's just like it's an alive thing. But you've also got like enemies coming at you, and and the enemies feel nice. I like the enemies because they're like, like it feels like you're hitting something because like you can see their armor popping off. I like I don't know why I like that. I just I just do, but like you shoot it. It looks like you're actually doing some damage. With the previous ones, you would just hit them, and when they go down, then you know you've done right. But this one, like, you can actually like feel it, and I like to feel it, and it just looks good. And also, you have like adaptive triggers with your your PlayStation controller thing, which I don't, I still don't get because I haven't got the dis- the dexterity in my fingers to go half and then full. I just go like completely fall down that's why i don't go on returnal very much because i don't like adaptive triggers yes they're fun in like astro bot but in this game it, it's too when you're in a battle there's too much going on for me to think about oh my fingers need to be at half or full so i just don't think at full it, it seems to work just fine but there is like an easy setting if you want to put your controller in a different setting so it's just like simplified completely like just your x circle square and triangle but and that's kind of cool if you've got like a kid playing um also have it got um obviously there's the different levels i think there's four together there's like narrative um like easy normal and then like really really hard um but yeah i haven't got very far into it but because i'm just playing it on stream and because this thing, I can't just go A to B, A3, I have to go to A, then look around for A2, A1, A3, and then go to B. Do you know what I mean? Like, I have to go and look everywhere. I've already found two golden bolts, so because I like to go everywhere. But, yeah, it's fine. Um, and it's £70 because, like you said, it's a PS5 game. And that's how much they cost at the moment. They're a little, little expensive. That's how much but... they are going to cost. I doubt they're going to come down in price. Yeah, we're like, because there's something like... What have I bought? Yeah, Returnal was the same. Um, yeah, so they're about that price. And I like, um, what's it called? Um, with the Phoenix, that was the same. They're just a little... It, it yeah. just, it if jars it's a PS5 you. game, it's going to be 70 quid because that's how much PS5 games are. Yeah. It's, it's so jarring because you contrast it with Xbox games, which are included in your subscription. Yeah, but there's not a lot coming out new for that, though, is there? No, there's not a lot coming out new for either of them, is there? That's why everyone's this is having new. to buy Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. This is the one. But we've got E3 at the whether... weekend, so... I do wonder whether you're wrong about them keeping it that high, whether it's just at the moment they know that they've got kind of a limited pool, captive audience, all of that stuff. Why would they bring it down? Games have been 50 quid for 20 years. Everything else has gone up in price. It's about time games went up in price. They make a lot out of it, don't they? But these games are more expensive to develop than any other games ever because they're fancier. I think seventy pound for a game is about right. It depends on the game. I I agree. I do agree with a lot of games, a lot of titles. 
I, you know, the ones that I would really get stuck into, yeah. And then there's lots where I'm like, I'm not playing that for more than a weekend. Mm-hmm. And I've never played a Ratchet and Clank game more than a couple of times when I've tried it, and I'd probably played three of them. I'm not going to say which because I don't know off the top of my head. I have, I'm not that into them, I, you know that. Um, but yeah, I just I just don't see how they're worth. Like if that was if you'd have said to me that was fifty, I'd have gone. Eh, nah, it's a new game. It'll probably be thirty in six months' time. Job done. But for it to go, I mean, what are they going to do? They're going to be seventy, and then when they're six months old, they're going to half in price. Like that seems a big drop. But are we going to suddenly see? No, I imagine games? you'll get it. You'll get it in the sale for fifty-five or something. <laughs> world's changing in it i mean again like old cheap dog would have you know 10 years ago cheap dog would have been crying at the thought of having to spend that much on games it's not it's the i think the world is different everything is more expensive now and we're not students anymore so it's a bit different but i can't imagine i mean but then i suppose when i was a kid like it was that it was expensive it was like 50 60 quid for my parents to get me games for my birthday i would get a game and something else and that'd be the 100 120 quid they'd probably spend yeah i imagine for it's not just because we're not students anymore i would suggest for everybody it's easier to afford a 70 pound game now than it was to afford a 50 pound game 20 years ago because you just have to look at how inflation's changed in that time it's still as a percentage of someone's income it's lower yeah, I mean, it just seems weird, doesn't it? It just, it just sounded odd when you said. You're just an old man. I'm no, I'm not, I'm not moaning about it. I just <laughs> think I don't know. Could you imagine Football Manager being seventy quid for the next release? I've been telling them that they should be doing it for ten pound a month on permanent subscription, hundred and twenty pound a year. That seems about right for Football Manager. There shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a standalone price. It should be a month, ten pound a month monthly subscription. They wouldn't get away with the the bugs they have for the first four months of every race yeah, they're making 120 pound a year rather than 30 they can hire more people so they don't have the bugs i think they'd get a lot of people who pay it definitely a lot of people and it probably make up for the difference in what they'd lose absolutely see kev's a genius <laughs> pat what do you think of ratchet and clank um so far so good um i kind of agree with <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's, it, I'm not, we're not going to rehash the £70 thing. It's, it is what it is. It's not going anywhere. Especially, it's not going anywhere for Sony first party games. They're not going to, they're not going to duck that price tag if they can get away with it. And they, they have done and they will continue to do so. Um, yeah, it's very, very good. It is, it, it's, I mean, the, the remake that they did, was that 2016? Yeah. Want to say something like that? That was a very, very good game as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and to me, it feels more of the same with some very much kind of tweaked mechanics, um, better visuals. Uh, there is ray tracing. There is ray tracing. Um, I don't know. Did you get out of the, off the first planet, Anna? Uh, yeah, I went to the where he's like, he says he's won. Um, like the big. You have to go to like a, a nightclub. No, okay then, no. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, no, no. You're still in, you're still in the same world, I think. Ah, uh, okay. Have you done the switch yet, then? Yes, yes, yeah. I've got to go on a snail. Right. Okay. So that world, that world, you will notice the ray tracing. Uh, okay. So it's like the the vistas, <laughs> the the, 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 the god rays, the the. Lens flare and all that sort of thing, and the uh, way the yeah, light yeah, yeah. bounces from the sun—that is what you see when you're ray tracing stuff. Um, the particle effects and whatever you won't necessarily, necessarily see it as much because, like I say, they move very fast. Um, but yeah, it looks nice. It looks very nice. It's um, it, it plays very much like a Ratchet and Clank game. I like the the dodge ability that you get you get I, yeah I was, I started off and i went you know what? i really want a dodge ability because i've been playing returnal this week as well and i was like i kept smashing the circle button trying to trying to dodge out of things it's like i really <laughs> need a dodge button and i got it with that this is this is exactly what this game needed the dodge button the dodge is a very good dodge in this one um yeah you can see like four of them it's kind of like a time lapse kind of thing yeah kind of like just kind of like kind of slowly yeah it's, it's weird it's a weird effect but it looks very cool um it's 
so what's the premise should we say um where do we start so ratchet and clank are looking for something in particular i can't remember what it is um and then their their nemesis kind of gets this pole this like kind of like portal gun type thing and creates yeah, rifts in, yeah. in the universe and then you inevitably come across like a parallel universe where you see another Lombax and it's a female Lombax so you then you end up in their world um, and then you will eventually just you will event, you, you, you will play both characters put it that way um, so yeah you you had you have not played you're not solely playing um ratchet uh, no wait a minute yeah because you're wait. playing ratchet you're playing rivet i think her name rivet, is yeah you get to play as clank and you get to play as glitch so there's like yes. four, four playable characters all doing different things yes i i got to the point not a million miles away past where you go into like a lemmings type game there's like yes. a lemmings mini yeah, game, so you which have is to... very cool. Yeah. When you play as Clank, you go into like this kind of like digital world and you have like you have to, you have like several like different permutations of, of Clank going along this along this like path set path and you just kinda of run down this path and then they are just all kinda of like meeting the death. And then you've got to kinda of got to guide them once so you've got to direct the path direct them in a certain direction to get them to the exit akin to lemmings it was a very cool little little uh mini game thing i, I don't know if that's going to be a permanent thing if that, if that was just in that world however clank that that it, those are the clanks like game they seem to really. open the the like big what do you call it? Por- not portal things like dimensions because like you open it yes. and then you find some people that are stuck in it so yes i think yes. it's going to be a part of the game yeah it was. It, I enjoyed it. I just, I'm not complaining. It was a good. It was a good bit of the game. I enjoyed that bit. Um, yeah, it seems to be another one of them games, which isn't a bad thing. I genuinely don't think that's a bad thing. It's um, it's a very good 3D platformer with multiple guns, um, very cool abilities. Um, yeah, it's. Um, it it does look pretty damn good. Uh it has multiple settings in there, so the the default is fidelity mode, so that'll run f- what four K ray tracing uh at thirty FPS. Uh there is a ray tracing sixty, I think it is. Which will then just Yeah, something like that. Sorry? It's something like that, isn't it? Yeah, it, so it'll run. It'll give you ray tracing at 60 fps, but it'll re- reduce the resolution down. Boys and girls, we are having some major technical problems this evening. I again, it, I don't know where what precisely we were talking about before everything died. Um, I think we're going to celebrate everything dying by Pavi putting a little advert in, mm-hmm. and then we'll jump back in. Pabby, good advert, good work. Um, we were talking about Ratchet and Clank, I think. And when I say we, I obviously don't mean me because I've not played it. Were you done talking about that, kids? Are we ready to move on? Or have we got more to say about Ratchet and Clank? Um, I think Pab was, when um, he decided to die, was saying about the different settings and the ray tracing and, um, and stuff. Yeah, I think I feel like we've, we've pretty much said everything that I need to right now. I can't think of anything... Uh... I haven't already mentioned. I feel like it's a good. Like I say, I think it's a good game. It's a very good game. Excellent. Well, talking of good games, then this Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Oh God. That's all right, isn't it? Oh, I, um, I love this game. I thought I thought I was getting into it because I'm <laughs> close to finishing Mass Effect Two now, which I thought was really good going in what two or three weeks. Just playing in my free time, fitting it around my football manager, um, and it's halfway through Mass Effect Three. <laughs> She's not slept this week. She's been up until like 3 a.m. playing Mass Effect. It's and she's so close to, good. She is like two achievements away from Platinum on Mass Effect 2 as well. We were looking at it earlier. It's silly stuff like 
fire two, ten people up into the air with a power thing. She could go on there for ten minutes and have a platinum on this game. Yeah, I was... I think it was three min three minutes under forty six hours on Mass Effect two. In a week. <laughs> I like this game. Get a job, for goodness <laughs> sake. I, I have mind a job. That this has a um so my mate was telling me he wasn't sure whether it has a different ending and I Googled it. I was like, does it have a different ending from the original? And it says it has got Yeah, apparently like a, it has. On Mass yeah, Effect Three. It, it kind of uses some of the enhanced ending that they released, but it is completely... It's an tweet, ending to set up Mass Effect 4. Which is amazing. That makes me want to do it. I was kind of like, well, I loved Mass Effect. I really enjoyed it, but what's the point in playing it again now when I'm trying to play lots of other stuff? Because you know, I but... I don't remember half the things I'm doing. Yeah. As God on history, if I'm playing it, I'm like, this didn't happen before. I have no recollection of this whatsoever. So... Maybe I was, when I was playing it, I was sleeping for most of it. But I don't, like, I've been playing it. I was playing it last night. I was going to rescue, rescue a Lady Kroger. And I'm like, I don't remember any of this. I don't remember coming to this world. I don't remember having to go and get this lady. I have no idea where she's come from. But I don't remember any of it. But then, like, the the mission I did before that, I had to go to the school. Um, the school for, like, mutant biotic people. And I remember being there. But I don't remember it being that polished and that nice to look at. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just... Mm. Oh, it's just so good. Oh, it's a good game. And now, like, I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to go to Andromeda and then I'm going to go and play that. And it's just, like, even though Andromeda is not in this arc of the game, like, I don't know if it's a prequel or a, a, a sequel. I'm not sure, but it's all... Very good, and I, I is don't... Is Andromeda in the pack? No, 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 no but no, I've got no. it right, somewhere. Okay. But, you know, it's Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. No, that'll or... feel like a step down then, Anna. That will. <laughs> it will. I mean... Yeah, it will, but I'm in, that, I'm in that world at the moment, so I now want to go and play that again. Now I've got, like, the Mass Effect story fresh in my head because, like, I, don't, I want to know why Andromeda exists. And why is it? Why are they to bought make it out? Bioware money. I yeah, know that, I, but like, where does it sit in in the in the Shepherd arc? Where where is it well, sitting? It's after Shepherd. They they just go off to break new ground elsewhere. Yeah, but there's like there's enemies in that, and there's like there's a, a, a Protheans there, a Sovereign there. It's a cre- not Creepers. I think it's, it's just creep- meant to be like a, they're in a new galaxy, so there's new. Biology that you know, yeah. it's just a couple of the race, you know, a handful of the races from the series uh, uh, banded together and gone off to break new ground. Um, I didn't get that far into it, if I'm honest, so I don't really know the ins and outs, but I know they kind of stumble across old temples and whatnot, and yeah, you know, yeah. old tech, and that's why it's kind of interesting. But I think I felt like I broke it. I, I, I was supposed to go and do a mini little you'll go to this building and do this, and I went off the beaten track, and then suddenly I was escaping a temple and there was loads of characters in there and I was like why is this video playing who are these people it was like I <laughs> triggered a story arc that was several yeah. hours ahead of where I was and I was really confused at how that could happen um and I guess normally it wouldn't happen but I had happened to because I, I found some rocks and they were doing certain things so I was trying uh... to figure out the puzzle and I guess I figured out the puzzle and you probably weren't supposed to but it just all felt a little bit weird and broken so well, it's had some updates yeah. as far as I'm aware and they've apparently fix some bits and bobs so i might I, like I, i'm gonna go back to it anyway regardless but yeah i oh it's so good like i i, I don't get it because i'm like i ha, i've no i've played the you know, like i finished three but i don't remember any of it and it's very weird because like with games nowadays i can go like back to batman and go yeah i know how this goes oh i can go back to like i don't know like an old an assassin's creed and i know how that goes with this not a clue no idea of what's going on, but it's good. I like it, so I'm going to carry on playing three, um, and, and enjoy it. And the Reapers are scary. I don't like them. They are not very nice people. But yeah, I That's love. That's kind Mass of the Effect. point of the series, isn't it? That the Reapers are bad. Mm. But like the suicide, because like this is what I was. I played two the other day. I stayed up till very late in the night, so I wanted to finish it. Now. 
all you have to get all your loyal missions right i'm fine with that i did them all i failed one but even though i failed it he was still loyal to me so like i didn't lose anybody but kevin also messed that same mission up but he's not loyal what is happening like how is that why have I got the loyalty but failed and Kevin It Dan might be an loyalty. overall score type thing. Like, yeah, you might have failed the mission, but you did some other things along the way that yeah. meant you would meet the quota, whereas Kev probably missed something or said something. Or, But know. it's like with Rex. He hasn't got Rex in his in, in his Mass Effect 2. Who does he have? Because like, I love Rex. I've got Rex in Mass Effect 3 now. Well, who's Kevin got? Who you got, Kevin? Who's your Rex? Who's your Krogan? Um, well, the Krogan in Mass Effect 2 isn't Rex. Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, the Krogan who own who no, runs the Krogan. No, who runs the Krogan? Oh, it's just a different guy. See, I have, I have <sighs> Rex. He you is get Grunt. Is it is Grunt? Is that his name? The Krogan That's... in Mass Effect 2. Yeah, but yeah, I still have Rex. Like what I'm saying is, you don't have Rex at all, do you? Because you don't have Rex in your squad, though. No, no, but he's still in the game. Whereas yours, yeah, but Rex he's not is in mine. Yeah, because he died. Did he die just in like your f- previous one? Just like you've got Kaiden, I, I've got Caden, and you've got Ashley. It's I just do have Ashley. But did you Some lose poop. Rex? Yeah, yeah Ashley lost killed him. him. <laughs> he pulled a sheepdog. She shot him in the back of the head. You monster. Which is why I sent her to her death. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just that there's just a different guy in charge of the Krogan now. No, really? Him. Yeah. I mean, it I wouldn't can't... have worked otherwise. Their species weren't going to fall apart. <laughs> well, no, but it's just um, like, I have Rex now. I'm having a great chat with him. He's so funny. And I'm like, Kevin, what's yeah. that? And all this dialogue. I it's bet I'm not. Sad. I bet I'm getting very similar dialogue with a different guy. Yeah, but it's not right. <laughs> They're not that clever. They're about old times. Uh, I kept thinking that those ones where you have to choose who dies, that they'd turn up. And it great to me that they didn't turn up at all at any point <laughs> later on like you don't uh, properly see him die do you i think they just kind of stay behind so i've always thought they missed just a stay trick. behind at ground zero of a nuclear bomb going off <laughs> yeah but you don't <laughs> see them die so it's kind of like you, i think you can assume they did no but i'm thinking mass effect 4 they need to they need to bloody have a little flashback where they just realise, I don't know, like Indiana Jones style there's a fridge there and they just get inside it and get fired off into the you know, atmosphere and they've spent the past three games floating around in a, in, a, in a fridge waiting to be rescued I mean, remember spoiler alert, that Shepard dies in one of these games and gets like reconstructed uh, it's not infeasible that someone could survive a nuke Well, anyway, it's very to good. Reassemble Shepherd. It did take two years to reassemble. Shepherd. Well, maybe it took three films to three games. Sorry to re- to reconstruct Nuki Magoo, who just got nuked to sh- smithereens. Nuki Magoo. I don't know who that is. I couldn't remember their names. The two people. What you have to pick one to stand behind and take a nuke to the face. So if I find out Ashley's still alive, I'll be furious. She was sent to her death as punishment for killing Rex. <laughs> maybe Rex is still alive. Maybe, maybe. No, I, wa- I literally watched him get shot in the back of the head. Well, he was directly in front of me. Maybe, I'm surprised I didn't get the bullet as well. Maybe she got reconstructed and thought, I can't face Shepard until I've reconstructed Rex. So she's reconstructed him. And then he's reconstructed whoever else you killed. And they'll all just turn up in Mass Effect 4 and say... Bloody hell, mate. <laughs> like, get good, please. I was too busy with Liara. Was you? Don't have time to keep you? people alive. Having <laughs> alien fun time. The real big brain stuff in that game is collecting the fish and the and the spaceships. As models. Oh, yeah, I've done all that. I love all doing all of that. It's excellent. I just like this game. The only... Th- ah! There's a freaking... Sorry... Oh, a tiger. go away. There There's was a, a daddy long legs right in the front of my face and I didn't see it because it was dark in here. I do apologise. Yeah, the one thing I do <laughs> get about this game is every game, every single game changes its weapons. So in one, like everywhere... Because they're trying to make a system that works and they yeah. still never quite got there. Because <laughs> one, you had a bunch of guns, you had a bunch of ammo, you had a bunch of just loads of things and you just stuff everything together and it worked and I was fine with that then in two 
you would find a gun here and there and you could just it it'd just be a gun and you'd be like all right and then in three you've got you got your guns again there's lo but you there's loads of guns and there's loads of add-ons and it's just like make your mind up what do you want me to do do you want me to have all the guns and all the add-ons do you want me just to have guns you give me make your mind up but yeah the the gun situation just annoys me but so now I'm going like round the Citadel going which is the best gun going on my like phone trying to find out which is the best sniper rifle to have and what's the good mods to put on them because I'm an infiltrator and I need to snipe everything but I'm really liking the shotguns at the moment. So. I think the availability is more about how involved you are with Earth isn't it? Like you don't really have as much access to civilization in the second game if I remember I might be wrong. Yeah I but guess. Yeah, you but, can't just nip home and go, right, I'm going to buy everything you got, please. Whereas in, yeah, in that The one, entire gonna... council's from Earth in mine because I let the original council die. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> no! Everyone's dead in mine. Basically, Shepard's all that's left. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> you are playing a unique game. You're doing a sheepdog. That is the sheepdog <laughs> thing. Whereas in mine, it was like nothing went wrong. Like... Shepard was an absolute fluke. I don't see that. Event. That's I don't see how it's going wrong. I got rid of all those aliens who were getting in my way, and I've now got my buddy running the council. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, but I mean, when it comes down to it, you're not going to have the the issues of that all the other aliens care about at heart, and they're going to be affected. So that might impact you in, in Mass Effect Three. Yeah, that seems like a problem for future Kev. <laughs> I mean, as long as it gives you an ending that bridges you to Mass Effect 4, you'll be laughing. You'll be re... Well, they've already shown, like, screenshots to Mass Effect 4, haven't they? So I'm all for that. Is it someone being reconstructed from a nuclear blast? Well, no, it's basically... I think it's Tally, or someone that looks like Tally is just looking at a planet and that. That's oh, no, yeah, I've seen it. that one. I just I yeah. thought there was more. Sorry, yeah, I thought there was more. It's just her picking up an N seven thing, isn't it? Or was that on the yeah, floor? Yeah, something like that. I can't remember. I can't quite remember. But like I said, E three this weekend, so maybe we'll get some oh, yeah. update gotcha. on, on when that if if yeah, because I am all about the Mass Effect because they do this. This what game that they bring out a remaster or something, and they're like, oh no no no, we've got over here coming out next month. Like yes, oh yeah, that's the whole give point. Give me isn't that. It? Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're very much not coming they're... out next month. It'll be twenty twenty four or something. <laughs> they were absolutely sat around a table going, we can't do Andromeda two, um, we can't just reboot it. Uh, Let's just remaster it, change the ending, and then stick a fourth one on, and then do four, five, and six. And yeah, they, they they definitely won't be rounding off the end with a uh, "This is the end, Shepard's gone" by six. They'll just do seven, eight, and nine. And I mean, they even had to tell me more stories about Shepard things, so they have left it open, haven't they? So, which is it, fine. they've just done good writing. It 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 keeps me there. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm, it's a no, it's all yeah. It's just I can't put it down. Like I'll go. Yeah, I'll just I'll just do one more mission. It's time for bed, and then I want to like okay, I need I need to go and to talk to that person, and then Kevin's like, "Come on, time for bed." I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm playing this. I can't put it down, and it, it's interfering. With bed You're making me twitchy because I don't want to get it because I don't have a hundred hours to play. It. Like I'm where I am at the moment. I'm desperately keen to do to just focus on playing. Like Pokemon games, basically, for my Twitch uh, Twitch channel, for my YouTube channel, all that stuff. I just want to get down that rabbit hole. I'm kind of doing a Kev on the Football Manager style, but with Pokemon. And the thought of playing 100 hours of Mass Effect alongside that is really tempting. But I'm thinking that's going to absolutely <laughs> undermine everything I want to do. Well, why don't you I just can't... switch it? Well, I can't be like, right, Monday, Wednesday, Sunday, I'm going to play Pokemon. But hey, on... Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm going to sit and play Mass Effect. That's just not going to help. Okay, it's well then, muddy you, the waters. But the thing is, you need a game to come away from. You can't just go on Twitch and play your Pokemon. You need a yeah. game to just go to because I don't play Mass Effect on Twitch because that's my game. That is for me. That is me to spend too long on a, a planet because I want to find everything. Whereas I like, work and my children in as well. It's I have of... children and, and no, you do. The house. But I'm not saying you don't have work either because you do have work. I wasn't implying anything about you. I was saying like my scenario is demanding. I guess Mass Effect uh... is far too. What I think I'm gonna do is 
ride the wave of new Pokemon games that are coming out in the next six months. There's two coming out, and I've got plenty to play in the meantime. And I think when it gets to that lull of everything's done, I'll be like, right, Mass Effect 4 is coming out in <laughs> six months' time or whatever. Let's build up to that by playing 1, 2, and 3. And then I can play 4 on release. Pish, yeah, bash, bash, go from there. Um, I'm going to dip slightly just because uh, I haven't got much to say on it but I was I I kind of made that mistake a little bit I think with XCOM in that I played one and two really got a good lot going with it really good momentum with it and then I, I had a little break and then played War of the Chosen and everyone was like this is not that different I watched my my kind of interest in that drop and I was like it's such a good game but we'd all seen it before I feel so disappointed so I'm kind of wary of playing something I've, I've, I've already played um, too too quickly because it's hard to do it when you know the story. But also just yeah, I've stopped I stopped playing uh, War of the Chosen and there's, of all things switched to City Skylines, and um, it was absurd how many more people come in to watch me build a city and just hang out mm-hmm. and chat with a very chilled out stream. Um, Did you build it with rock and roll? No, we built it with poo water um, and and everyone yeah. was just drinking. So a filth. replica of Peterborough. Yeah, basically, um, and I think the game glitched out because I got in a position where I ran out of power and then the water pumps couldn't work, so I ran out of water, which meant the power station couldn't function because it didn't have water and it needed it, so then I couldn't have power and there was literally no way to fix it and I had to start again. But um, no, yeah, I, other than that weird glitch, it it was really fun. It was really good. And uh, I yeah. bought City Skyline on pretty much every machine I own and keep trying to play it. But it doesn't have a tutorial and people keep telling me, you've got to watch the YouTube videos to learn how to play it and I refuse. So I keep City buying it. SimCity was so it. easy to get in, wasn't it? I yeah, would argue... I keep buying it yeah. and don't get it. I would argue it's not as good as SimCity at all by a long shot. Um, I enjoy it, but it's got loads of silly clunky bits to it like the uh, the roads, the pipes... Um, they're all just stupid to build. And I felt a little bit like there wasn't, other than waiting to see if I, I was like, oh, I wonder if I'll get to City. And I was just sat there. We were just chatting. I mean, it was fun because we were just chatting while I was hoping that my City would get big enough to level up. But I was just kind of, it doesn't feel like there's anything really happening. Whereas in Sim City, there's just little bits that happen, like you'll get a catastrophe or a monster will attack or, I don't know, um, You can there's a bit of more interconnectivity and all of that. So... I picked it because someone suggested. Oh, I basically put my Steam, uh, yeah, my Steam library up and said pick a game. And I think Lee replied like straight away, City Skylines. I was like, okay, and it was. It, I'm, I'm glad he did because it was a really good couple of streams. Where we were just chatting away, um, and it's really nice catching up with everyone. But and I, I, it made me realise XCOM probably wasn't the best thing to get into because I was very involved and it was just a bit distracting and people were too busy watching what was going on and that. Um, so yeah. I, I think City Skyline has done me a favour this week, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting on to just playing on my... I'm, I'm basically going to be rinsing my Switch on on Twitch and through my PC and trying to figure out what big game to get on the PC just to play myself. I'm wondered about Cyberpunk, but again, I don't know whether yeah. I want to be sat playing that between everything else I'm doing. Um, and Mass Effect is so tempting. You really, I mean, I'll try to bring that back in because I'm sure Pab's got stuff to say about it as well, or Kev might have, but nope. it is so tempting to get it. And I just, it is like 100 hours worth, isn't it? You're saying you were 40 out, 48 hours in the second one. The first one's what, 20 hours, is it? What? Mass Effect? Yeah. Mass Effect 1 was 28, and God. then Mass Effect 2 was 46. I did Mass Effect 1 in about 15. Yeah, I would, I'm different. more like you. Yeah, no, I'm more like <laughs> I'm kind of in between. I'd I, I'd probably be more like seventeen and a half, you know. Um, and then I'm guessing Kev will do Mass Effect two in more like forty, and you've done it in nearly fifty. Um, so yeah, you're looking at sort of sixty there plus the third one, which I'm sure was more like a yeah, at least a forty hour game. Um, so I just a hundred hours, Jesus Christ! Mm-hmm. It's like four entire days, isn't it? It's worth it, as you say. It's such a well-written game, but I just don't think I don't think I have that much time at the moment. Pab, we spotted you playing this this week. What? Mass Effect. I have not played it since over a week ago. 
Yeah. Might have been last week. Um, I spotted you then. I have little compulsion to go back to it. Right now. You're an idiot. Then. You're an idiot. I just You're an idiot. It just didn't grab me. But it's the opening. It's the opening two or three hours of the first game. I'm waiting for it to grab me, and I've but. You have yeah. to play it for it to grab you, Pabby. <laughs> yeah, it would require me to play it, but I just have little desire at the minute to, to do so. Mm. Uh, yeah. So what else have you crazy kids been up to? That's it for me. Mass Effect and Ratchet and Clank. Both of them. Well, I've, uh, I've got Mass Effect and Football Manager. Mm -hmm. So, Pabby, I think we're over to you. I was um, going to say, I think it's Pab. I've got one of them Xboxes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why? Uh, why have I not got one? So you bought you. You've done another. You, he's done another headset situation here. <laughs> we discussed last week how both Anna and Pab want an Xbox. Next thing we know, Pab's shown off the Xbox you, that's arrived at his house with no message saying, "Hey Kev, they're in stock." At you know X full shop. well that by the time I've sent you a message, you've seen that message, gone to that website, it's already sold out. Mm, where you did you buy it from? Microsoft. Hmm. When you said the source, I had no idea. I was like, what is he on about? He went to the source. Like, is there a tap <laughs> where Xboxes fall out or a river? But yeah, Microsoft makes sense. <laughs> really went over my head. Um, I feel like we should have had an understanding, Pab, where like, if they're in stock, you just buy it and Kev gives you the money because you know he's good for it. He'll pay yeah, because I'm, I'm good for it, for, for dropping on two. Also, you can all do... You're both usually. good for you. You bloody yeah, good I, for it, I, I, I would have wanted two, Pabs, so you didn't need to yeah, order three. Here's the thing. You're only allowed one, per, allowed one per customer yeah. as well. So You should have got Anna's one and then look, carried on looking for your own. Yeah. But the, <laughs> uh, like I say, I, just signed I, have, I have seen multiple probably four or five of, of, of like chances to get them this week i know they were in stock at shop two this week but i was driving at the time and by the time i got home um to order it for anna they were then out of stock again they were in stock Kevin? today i think <laughs> i want to say at curry's pc world um they're in stock uh when did i get mine tuesday up on the micro store they were on stock uh, where is it now amazon amazon italy and Germany, shipped. We're not in either of those countries, no. Pab. Shipped to this country. Um, no VAT, but with import tax on it, works out five pound cheaper than over here. Hmm. I tried, uh, but they were gone by the time I got to the, the thing where Amazon's going. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, this isn't the what, what? What is this location? And I was like, okay, translate, and I've got to, like translate the page. And then guess, you know, reassure Amazon that it is me doing it. And then by that point, they've already gone. So I missed it on those. But yeah, they are, they are out there. If you are, if you look hard enough, they are out there. Um, That's the problem, Pabby. I'm not going to look hard. I'm just going to wait for well, it to you be won't get one presented till, in front of me. Until 2022 then, at least. Mm. We should have bought one. We had the opportunity to buy them the other week. We yeah. were in game in Northampton. Yeah. And they um, they had three in stock there and then, and we were like, "Shall we buy one?" And we didn't because we weren't really sure. Well, I, I was feeling a little poor at the time because <laughs> uh, I uh, just I had some delays on getting some payments through that I hadn't realised. I was like, "I feel like I'm earning less than usual." And the other day, um, I was just I said to Anna, Anna, every minute for the last eleven minutes, there's been money paid into my bank account. It looks like about three months worth of brand deals all coming through at once. I think wow. there's been a problem here. Um, so, yeah, that's why I was feeling a little bit skin. I need to be a little bit tighter on my bookkeeping and notice when I've not been paid for three months. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> God. So, I mean, I feel like I was in the same boat with you. That sense of, like, I kept finding myself with the opportunity to buy an Xbox. Like, since since ooh, probably the start of the year i've kept finding myself with a with a, an option to add to basket on on these xbox and i was like huh I, just, I was just clicking on them just out of curiosity to see if they have them in stock and every single time i did it i was like i can add it to basket and then it got to the point where i was like let's see if i can actually get one of these in and then i pretty much got one it took about two weeks i want to say they're pretty much just you know scurrying and trying to get all the one 
Um, if anything, I was just relieved because it's the confirming that you want one. It's like the the, the saying, acknowledging, yes, okay, I want to get one. Let's try and find one. So the actual getting one, the 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 scurrying around and watching and just waiting, just looking for it. That was the hardest bit because it's just, just you just see. You just, Argos is annoying because it yes. says on there right now they've got limited stock, but they have this stupid thing where they have their regional distribution centres, so it's not in stock for delivery to our postcode. But yeah, if I change my postcode to somewhere else, then they are in stock, but not in stock for us because we can't have it delivered somewhere else because that's not where we are. Could yeah. you get it delivered to your dad's? Or I tried or that or... one. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Argos isn't great. I, I don't like him for that. Yeah, because I've seen, I had that not, yeah, last week I think I had the only stock at Argos and it was like they're not in stock and, you know, where you are. I was like, oh, why tell me that? But yeah. But yeah, we have an Xbox. It is pretty damn simple to set up <laughs> because it is it is like for like kind of system as the Xbox One. Um, it's pretty much a case of like turn it on. Uh, scan the QR code using the Xbox app. Uh, that kind of just confirm your, you know, your Wi-Fi settings, and you're pretty much going. Uh, I plugged in the, I plugged in the external hard drive that was in the Xbox One into the back of it. Boom! All my games are there, good to go. You want to play them? Off you go. No worries whatsoever. Um, which was great. Uh, what else have we had? I had a a kerfuffle trying to get Game Pass. I thought, I want, let's get the Game Pass then. I'm paying for, I'm paying for Game Pass PC for seven ninety nine a month. For ten ninety nine a month, I can have Game Pass Ultimate with both of them. So we'll do that. Go for that. Trying to get, trying to do that through the Xbox was a a, a nuisance because first off, it's it, the op, the only option on the Xbox is like. Try Game Pass Ultimate for for a pound for, for for the first three months, and it's like in asterisks, new cost, new new users only. But I've already used, I've used Game Pass Ultimate when it first came out. So I was like, well, okay, I don't, I just want to pay the regular amount. Is there an option for that? No, it is it is enforced me to try and try and use this, go for a pound for three months. Every time I click on that, it goes as an error. It clearly knows that I've done it before and you can't do it again. Um, it's because you're the only person in the world who's ever cancelled Game Pass. Well, There's I, no facility was, to join back up again. It's because I was never using the Xbox. So I was like, I don't, there's no point me having paying for Game I don't Pass. even own an Xbox and I'm still paying for Ultimate. Yeah. So, well, I didn't see any point. <laughs> having I it, so paid I just... for Ultimate, to be fair. Yeah. So, um, so I was like, right, okay. Let's just try and figure this out. Uh, I did. Ever, I did. I just went on my iPad and did it. Went around it that way, uh, and I did it somehow. It accepted me one pound for the first three months. So I don't know. I've got a f- another three months for 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 one pound each month or whatever it is. I think it let me do that a few times. I think it's just some weird. It, I, I don't know why it didn't. It didn't let me do it on the Xbox. But when I went around the through Microsoft on the on the website, it let me do it. So I'm actually on Game Pass now. I've downloaded. About half a dozen games. Um, I've played. <laughs> I have played a Sony published, Sony made game on the Xbox. I have played MLB The Show, which is a baseball game. Uh, a baseball game that used to be exclusive to PlayStation, made by a PlayStation studio, made by. Um, I, don't, I don't know who it is. I don't know who makes it, but. Um, it is all Sony branded. It has all the Sony Entertainment thing. Look when you boot it up, all the Sony, you know, like the Sony big like loading screen where it has all like the thing coming in and the, the logos and the, the text and what have you. And then it, you, yeah, you're on Xbox. It's uh, it was a it was a surreal experience kind of thing. Just going, look, I'm on the I'm on the wrong console. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. We're playing um, playing baseball. And yeah, it's it's a very nice looking game. <laughs> I have played probably about two or three games. I, I'm not 100 percent sure how baseball works, <laughs> but I just like, I like, I wanted a, a kind of a sport game to play, 
that wasn't FIFA. I did download FIFA. FIFA's on there because EA... Good boy. EA... What is it? EA Play now? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, now. yeah that's all part of Game Pass Ultimate, so I downloaded FIFA. Um, yeah, it, is a, it seems like a, a, a not, it's a very pretty looking game. Very, so very the week nice. So the Euros started, you decided to go for a baseball game rather than a well, I was, game. well, FIFA was downloading. FIFA was, de- FIFA was downloading. And I was like, okay, well, what shall I do then? And I was like, okay, well, MLB downloaded earlier on. I'll I'll play that then for a bit. Um, yeah, I just like, I don't know what it is. I couldn't imagine doing like a full game. I'd like two innings. Because like, there's like 10 innings in a, in a game. It's like playing in playing baseball for like two hours. Um I don't know, I couldn't do that. But I just enjoy just, you know, just kind of whacking the ball around, just, you know, just smacking the ball around the park sort of thing. It was good. Um, What else have I played? I played... I went and played Titanfall 2 again. I started up the campaign on that uh, because it has a... What is it? Like, it's cost about FPS boost on a lot of games now. On the uh, Series X, you can have FPS boost, so I can get 120... 120 hertz... Oh, basically 120 FPS. Um, I think it's 4K. I want to say it's 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 upgraded, you know, graphically. So I'm assuming it's 4K. Um, and yeah, it looks amazing. It looks very, very, very good. And Titanfall 2 is one of the best shooters that shooters ever made, and is a highly underrated game. Uh, I think that was like that is on Game Pass, I think as well, because it's an EA game. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but I already owned it, so. Um, yeah, so that is um, another one I'll probably continue playing because it's a nice one just to chill out and uh, have a shooter to play offline sort of thing. Looks good as well. Yes, yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah, I downloaded FIFA, I downloaded all sorts of stuff. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I've not played really anything else on it. Um, but yeah, I'll continue to tinker with that thing and see where we go with it and yeah, it seems like I say it's. Fat. I like the 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 quick resume was good because so, I was just chopping and changing between those games as well, and it's just like it's just like game back to menu, swap to swap to another game, and boom, you're back in, and you're exactly where you left off. You're on the pause screen when I paused it, and when I jumped out, and then I can just drop drop and change between the two. And I think you can have up to five games doing that on quick resume, and also that works. When you take the when you unplug the thing as well, so I had I had it all powered off today. So when I want to when I go back to it tomorrow, I want to see if it if I can just literally re- quick resume Titanfall two when I go back on it tomorrow. Um, I'll report back next week see if it actually did work. I, I, I can only presume it does. They're claiming it does. It does it. So we shall see. It's a very cool feature that I'd assumed when they announced these consoles, Microsoft uh, Sony would have followed suit and they didn't it's one of the few things that sony hasn't done the same as them so anyway that is um that is pretty much been my week though that's pretty much been my week well it sounds like you've had a jolly good week I even have. though you stole lana's xbox which mm-hmm. unacceptable no it's all right i don't mind I don't, I wouldn't allow have put... it. yeah <laughs> <laughs> As long as he doesn't do it again. If he if he ends up with a second one before you've got one, did replace oh, it? There's a trouble if it. Exactly. But well, we will wrap the show up there, then, boys and girls. If you want to follow us on the lovely social medias, it's at MGUK Podcast, or you can follow me everywhere you like at Lelujo, apart from TikTok. It's not me on there. You can follow me everywhere at Sheepdog Six K. I believe I'm everywhere, it's Miss. Lelujo, I think. But you'll find me. I'm around. <laughs> and I'm Pab1986 on Twitter and Twitch. Splendid! See you next week, boys and girls. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening, folks. <laughs>